Understand margin when you short sell stock. One of the strategies investors use to trade in a declining stock market is short selling. Let's quickly revisit this concept as some of you may be hearing about it for the first time. If that's you, we'd recommend you watch our previous videos on short selling that include the risks involved as this may not be for everyone. We'll provide the links in the description. Remember, when you short sell stock, you borrow stock and sell it, profiting if you can buy it back later at a lower price. Alternatively, you'll face a loss if you have to buy it back at a higher price. Let's walk through what happens when you short sell a stock. You've spotted a stock, XYZ, that you think is overpriced. XYZ is currently trading at $50, so you enter an order to short sell 100 shares at $50. The margin rate of the stock will determine how much you'll need initially. If the margin rate is 50%, you'll need 50% of the trade value already in your account when you place the trade and 150% of the value to hold the position. That could be cash or other marginable securities or a combination of both. Let's see what this means by looking at the numbers. In this example, you'll initially need $2,500 excess or available margin in your account when the trade is placed. 50% of 50 times 100 equals $2,500. When you place a trade and sell the borrowed stock, the proceeds of the sale are deposited to your account. In this example, that's 100 shares times $50 equals $5,000. We haven't included the broker's commissions in these examples. Since this short sale requires margin of 150%, this means that you must have 1.5 times the current value of the stock in your account to hold the short position. The short sale itself results in funds being deposited to your account and you needed 50% of the trade value to initiate the trade. That's 150% times 50 times 100 equals $7,500. Initial margin in account is equal to $2,500. Funds deposited when stock is sold is 5,000 for a total of $7,500. So the total margin required is $7,500, which is $5,000 generated from the sale of the stock, plus an additional $2,500 of available margin already in your account. Next, let's look at what happens after the short sale is completed. In scenario one, the price of XYZ moves lower, as you were hoping. Imagine that XYZ is now trading at $30. The value of XYZ is currently trading at 100 shares times $30, equals 3,000. The margin needed to maintain 150% of this 3,000 is $4,500. The initial margin in the account is 7,500, and the excess margin currently in your account is $7,500 minus 4,500 equals 3,000. There's excess margin of $3,000 in the account that can be used to put on additional positions withdrawn or act as a buffer or safety net in the event that XYZ moves higher in the future. In scenario number two, the price of XYZ moves higher, a negative result for you. Imagine that XYZ is now trading at $60. The value of XYZ is currently 100 shares times $60 equals $6,000. The margin needed to maintain at 150% is $9,000. The initial margin in the account is $7,500 and the account is now under margin by a difference of 7,500 minus 9,000 or $1,500. With scenario two, you'd receive a margin call and you need to deposit cash or margin eligible securities to bring the account back in line. You can also close or partially close one of your short positions to keep the account in good standing. This margin calculation is performed every trading day. Let's talk for a minute about the margin rate for different stocks. This rate can change without notice and can be influenced by many factors including the stock's volatility, current price level, and other factors. If the stock's margin rate drops and your account does not have sufficient buying power, you'd receive a margin call. If you don't take action, Investor's Edge may do so on your behalf to bring your buying power back on side. One of the other special features of short selling is that the short seller is responsible for paying the dividend on the borrowed stock which will be automatically withdrawn from your account. Since short selling requires a margin account and margin comes with its own advantages and disadvantages, we recommend that you also watch our video on margin trading and how to make it work for you. We've provided the link in the description. 
You can also learn more about margin trading and short selling in the Investor's Edge Learn Library. The link is in the description as well. Happy trading.